sugar is extracted from the juice of sugarcane at the sugar factory. To help understand this process, we invited a group of Ellerslie School students to make sugar themselves and then to see how it is done on a large scale. The juice is squeezed from the cane using a press made by the students. The result tastes good, but it's a rather cloudy liquid. Lime was added and the mixture was heated. The juice suddenly went clear and the colloidal matter coagulated to form a sediment. It was easy to filter this coagulant from the clarified juice in the laboratory, but the pupils agreed that if they had a large quantity to filter, then decanting first would make the job much quicker. Now the clear juice must be concentrated until the sugar crystallizes. The obvious way to do this was to boil the water away, but it was taking a long time, and as the boiling progressed, the nice straw-colored liquid started to darken because some of the sugar is burnt a little at this temperature. Then one of the students came up with an idea. He remembered that water could be evaporated faster from a solution if the pressure was reduced, and also that less heat was required. So a vacuum cleaner was attached to the mouth of the flask, and it worked. The liquid level started falling much faster. However, if the steam were to enter the vacuum cleaner, it would cause damage, so a simple condenser consisting of a flask in cold water was inserted between the boiling juice and the vacuum cleaner. Then, as the solution got thicker, but still no crystals had formed, another student pointed out that when they had made salt crystals in chemistry class, they had seeded the saturated solution with tiny crystals of salt. So why not try this with sugar? Some sugar was quickly ground up in a mortar and the fine powdered sugar was added to the flask. Immediately crystals started to grow and after further boiling with the vacuum cleaner switched back on, the flask had become almost solid with sugar crystals surrounded by a dark liquid which the teacher said was called molasses. The sugar crystals could be filtered off but it would take a long time for the molasses to flow from the crystals. A centrifuge separated the two components more quickly and more thoroughly. Was it good sugar? Yes, indeed. It tasted delicious.